The Chinatown Cares Grocery Program started as a emergency response program um, back in March 2020. We deliver groceries to a lot of the low-income seniors. There was one day that a bunch of us got added to a group chat uh, who were all concerned about the neighborhood. We were starting to hear information about the COVID-19 pandemic. There was also the worry about anti-Asian racism in the neighborhood. And a lot of the seniors who had mobility issues couldn't really get to further places to get groceries. So I think it was definitely a very important program to them where we allow this volunteer and um, senior relationship bonding to happen to let them have someone to talk to, but also, you know, get the, the groceries that they need every week. They're really happy to see me. I'm happy to see them. And it, as you know, uh, social connections is a soul, such an integral part in mental health. And I feel that as you become seniors, it's very difficult to make connections with people. And I like to ease that and build connections and build bridges. That's why a lot of us come to this work in this neighborhood is because we really deeply care about it. And I don't know if like maybe for other folks it might be similar, but um, you know, a lot of Cantonese folks, we don't say I love you or we love something. We like show it through action and um, food is one of the big things that a lot of Cantonese people show their love through. This neighborhood that nurtures us, like how do we give back to it in a way uh, that feels reciprocal. There is no denying that in Chinatown there is a lot of retail gentrification and when we talk about that we're talking about you know the food security problems and, and food justice within Chinatown and for us I really ensure the the cultural appropriate groceries part of it because I feel like a lot of seniors they don't get to go to portable grocery stores to get things that they want to cook with anymore. I would call it Chinese comfort food. <laughs> um, it's It brings back for me maybe even for them as well their childhood and their way of living in China before they immigrated and it's a connection back to where they were. You know I, I know a lot of seniors really appreciate that hey you know i'm not just being handed hot food people are telling us that you know we can't cook anymore we're useless but you know you're really providing us fresh groceries that, that allow us to do what we've always loved to do and, and it's sharing food with family cooking for them and that's that's love <laughs>